how to overcome your limiting beliefs and finally begin to manifest what you deeply desire. Remember your limiting beliefs. They're the only thing stopping you from getting what you want. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, your miracle mentor and alchemy success coach. And today we are soaring high, like a big, beautiful Eagle. We're always flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. Welcome to the high flyers club. We are soaring high today. I have something special that I wish deep in my soul for each and every one of you. The first is love. The second is money, love and money. I desire that each one of you have a life filled with love and filled with abundance and prosperity. So I've created something very special for you, but it's only available for a limited time. Visit love and money for life. That's love and money for life.com. Check it out. All the details are there and then expect to live the life you desire filled with love, filled with abundance and money. It's all yours. The universe is waiting to give it to you. So high flyers, if you've been consciously manifesting for some time now, and you're not getting what you desire. I always want to check out my limiting beliefs. What are my limitations to what it is that I desire? Do I believe that it's too difficult? Do I believe that it's the wrong time? Do I believe I'm the wrong person? Do I believe that I'm too old, the wrong sex? What is it that I believe? that is stopping me from getting what I want. And what is it that you are believing that is stopping you from getting what you want? Maybe it's more money. Maybe it's a new car. Maybe it's your specific person. Maybe it's saving your marriage, whatever it is, you have the power to recreate whatever it is you desire and bring it into your life. But the one thing, that will get in your way, that will stop you cold is limiting beliefs. So first and foremost, you have to challenge your limiting beliefs. There is nothing etched in stone anywhere in the universe that says the way things are today is the way things must be tomorrow. Now, I hear this all the time from people, Robert, I'm broke. I don't have any money. I'm struggling for money. I don't know what to do. Next thing you know, they're winning a scratcher for a lot of money or they're getting a new job or they're getting a promotion at work or some unfound money shows up in their life. What are your limiting beliefs? We're too far apart. There's not enough money in the world. It'll never happen to me. I'm not smart enough. I'm not tall enough. I'm not fat enough. I'm not, you know, whatever you can go on and on, but you need to identify them. And then you need to write them down. Listen, if you don't take the time to really get clear as to what your limiting beliefs are, you'll never remove them and they'll always be there. Well, maybe that's a limiting belief too, but I do know it's easier if you write it down. Most of the time, your limiting beliefs are thoughts about yourself that you're not right. You're not perfect. You're not special enough. You have a lack of ability or a lack of attractiveness or a lack of magnetism or a lack of money. You know, the old saying, it takes money to make money. Well, that's a belief. That's a limiting belief. And if you have that belief, maybe you want to write it down and get ready 
to argue against it. So what you do as a second part of step one is you begin to challenge those limiting beliefs after you've written them down, you begin to challenge them and you look for validity that those beliefs make no sense that other people have gotten what you want to get. Other people have gone where you want to go. Other people are living the life that you want to live. And if they can do it and there's nothing special about them, you can do it too. Here is a special quote from Louise Hay, who created a workshop called I can do it. The whole concept of this workshop is that anything that can be done, you can do. I am open and receptive to all the good and abundance in the universe. Thank you, life. Louise Hay. Basically what Louise Hay is saying there is that the universe, God, only really wants to give you good things. You can attract bad things. You can attract negative things through negative thoughts, through negative beliefs, through limiting beliefs, through doubts, through fears. You can do that. But the universe really only wants to give you good things. So step one, identify your limiting beliefs and then challenge them by looking for evidence to the contrary. And you can even write that down. You may find some quotes. If you find some good quotes, I, you know, I collect quotes cause they motivate me, send them to me, write them down below. I'd love to see your quotes. Thank you. Well, number two is visualize your desired outcome. I know you hear the word visualized all day long. If you watch YouTube and watch enough law of attraction videos, but it's the truth. If you will take the time and this is so important, schedule it again, get out that pen and write it down at two o'clock. I turn off all the phones. I don't answer the door. I go into my bedroom. I put on my blinders and I visualize for 20 minutes or just before bedtime. The problem with just before bedtime, I know, I know you've heard all the gurus, including myself, tell you this is the best time. Here's the problem. You might be tired. You might've had a difficult day. You might be burnt out and you lie your head down and you start to visualize and within two seconds you're asleep and the visualization never took place. So schedule your visualization time. The key to visualizing high flyers is sight. See it. If you can't see it, feel it. If you can't feel it, hear it, smell it, taste it, involve all of your senses and make it a present tense experience. This isn't what I want. This is what I am. I'm not even going to say it. You know what I was going to say. So step number one is to identify and challenge these limiting beliefs. Step two is to visualize it on a daily basis to schedule the visualization. Step three is to take from that visualization and create present tense affirmations. By using affirmations and making these affirmations a part of your thinking pattern, you're rewiring your brain and you're starting to think differently. And as you start to think differently, you'll start to feel differently. And as you feel differently, you'll manifest differently. Manifestation is always an inside job. Yes, we can have people help us, but the responsibility is always ours. It's important that you repeat these affirmations regularly, often, especially when you're in moments of fear, anxiety, worry, and doubt. Don't give into the fear. Don't give into the doubt. Use your affirmations to change how you think. Well, number four is take inspired action. Break down your desired outcome, whatever it is, 
into small bite-sized pieces and then just focus on one piece at a time, one piece at a time. And it may take you, it may take you a little bit of time and you may have setbacks, but don't give in. Come on now. I'm going to get angry here in a moment. Stop giving into the 3d world. It doesn't matter what the boss said. It doesn't matter what your bank account said. It doesn't matter what your specific person said. It really doesn't matter. What matters is what's going on in here. Take inspired action with yourself, with your life, with your vibration and with your intention. Well, number five is surround yourself with positive influences. That means the music that you listen to needs to bring you up and feel positive about yourself and your outcome. That means your home, it needs to be clutter free. It needs to have paintings and pictures and art of inspiration or whatever it is that inspires you. That means the people you talk to, the people you associate with every day, fill yourself with positive inspiration, positive people, positive energy, please. Because if you don't, if you don't, you give room, you give, it's like a breeding ground for limiting beliefs and doubts and worries and fears. And that's what holds you back from manifesting what you really desire, everything you desire and everything you deserve. Okay. Here's a special meditation. I really want you to try this one and remember to visit us at law of attraction solutions and claim your free 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and alchemy success coaching. Now try this meditation, close your eyes. Not if you're driving though. <laughs> 